So, you probably done the same thing as me, watched every single YouTube video about camera rigs. In this video, I'm going to show you how I choose to set up my Sony a7S III for video based on my experience and tips and tricks that I picked up. So, let's get started. Now before we go into disassembly and uh, then assemble it piece by piece, I want to talk about what is important for me when creating a rig. So let's start with the matte box. The matte box is important for me, lets me block out unwanted light. Also I have the option to slide in filters and I can use circular filters as well. It's attached to the front of the lens which makes it very flexible because I can have several adapters and use it on several lenses. If I need to add light, I have a Aperture MC, which I add uh, in front here with the Velcro that follows with the Aperture MC. And then uh, I have some fill light. I don't often use this, but if I'm in a situation where I need it, I have it. Yeah, that's the matte box from Small Ring. Next up is the monitor mount and the monitor mount for the shoulder rig. So when I turn this into a shoulder rig, I have a monitor mount in front of me instead of having it up here. I can have it up here and tilt it down towards me, but instead of having to look up like that into the monitor, I have it now in front. So I unloosen this and pull this one out and the monitor goes on to here. I can choose to have it on top by turning the rod around or having it underneath. I just flipped the screen on the Ninja 5. So that's the monitor mount. After the monitor mount we have uh, what is the power bank and that is just fastened with a power bank uh, adapter from small rig and that is to have uh, power continuously to the camera because running off one battery is uh, something I don't want to do because I have to change it then every hour and uh, during a long shoot, you have to change three or four batteries. That's why I have this power bank and also a power bank instead of a V-mount because it's uh, smaller, it's uh, more easier to detach and it fits underneath the camera, makes it very compact without extending the length of the camera. So that's what suits me and that's what I went for. Next one is the follow focus and that's from Edelkron and what I like about that is the dial is actually facing you as a filmmaker or videographer. So I have uh, the indicator where the that is on the wheel and this is where um, I want to hit the focus. So if I tweak this in camera and let's say the focus is there, I will just spin this one up to the indicator and I go out and I go into focus. So I love this one, it's great, it feels very great, it's well made and uh, something I use often to make it look very smooth uh, by doing manual focus. I have more control and I, I love it. Next up is the monitor and that's a Ninja 5. And for me what's uh, crucial is recording two types of audio and two video. So I have a record uh, ProRes RAW with the possibilities to change uh, white balance in post-production. And then I have internal recording in the camera. And then I have one wireless go either to a lav or a shotgun, boomed on the recorder. And the opposite, either a lav or a shotgun uh, connected to a wireless go connected to the camera. So I have two of each, so I have the backups. And that is my setup for video and audio. Then we have uh, what's the lens support, and that is just a lens support from small rig placed underneath, underneath here. And that is to just support the lens and 
prevent it from wobbling or uh, any strain on the mount of the lens or the camera. I also like quick releases, so I have quick release plates uh, all over and uh, one of them which is to the camera it is the um, iFootage uh, C-Stars Q1. It's a system that's uh, made for video, uh, video heads and uh, other ball heads and three-way heads and all of that. But I use it on my camera because it just snaps into place and locks and I just love it. I don't need to change or adjust my follow focus and I don't need to change my lens support. I also have a, a quick release plate from Nice Rig underneath there to if I don't need the external battery and the power bank or I don't need the extra mount here. If I want to reduce some weight I can take that off and still have a mount for the camera to a tripod if I want that. That's the quick release plates. Other things that's important to me is having some sort of cable management. And if you can take a look here, um, you have an adapter and that is to prevent uh, damaging the camera. But I also have an adapter. So the adapter is fastened into the camera cage and it's a camera cage from small rig and the adapter is from small rig. So this way, every time I take my camera out or I put it back in the bag, I don't need to unscrew and tighten this. It's so tedious to screw and fasten and all that. And I just attach my cable into here. I also have clips to keep cables or prevent cables from um, wafting around. So that's my cable management. And then we have the handles. So what I want is handles that is uh, made to work for a handheld situation. And also I can lower these to have it in front of me when I have it on a shoulder rig. Uh, also on that, I have a remote control. So I can start and stop recording with this. It's a Bluetooth uh, remote control um, from small rig that works with the Sony cameras. And yeah, that's my grip. And that is balanced here in this axis, this one and here. So prevent any form of unstableness. Uh, so it's not that much strain holding the camera and keeping it balanced. And uh, since it weighs a little bit, you prevent those jittery uh, movements. But if it's also balanced very well, you prevent it from the wobbling movements. You don't need to compensate with using your muscles and uh, to avoid those uh, unstable movements when you pan and slide around. I also use two uh, monitors and that is the one in the back of the camera uh, to see what kind of white balance I'm in. Just to double check and to check what kind of focus mode I'm in. Uh, just to be sure that I'm in the right one. Uh, the one, the screen on the Atmos 5, and look at the exposure and compensation and all that stuff. Now we will go through how I set up my rig on location and uh, see how quick and easy it is. So this is the unit I would uh, carry by itself. And that is with the follow focus and the quick release and the handle and the battery and all that attached to. And all the other bits like the camera, the monitor, the sound system, the wireless go, matte box, filters, they are all lined up in my backpack. So I would get this out, line it up there and that's up and running. I would uh, put the matte box on and line that up, screw it into place, lock it in. Then I will have take out the monitor, attach the battery and drop it in on the quick release here and lock it. Put it in position, so that's up and running. Then I have the wireless go that goes into the cold shoe on top here 
just twist it around a couple of times to prevent any cables being in the way connect that one i would have the other wireless go uh, on top of the cold shoe on the cage and uh, the filter So all that's left now is to attach the cables, the power cable and the HDMI cable. So I'll attach the HDMI into the adapter and into the monitor. So let's do that. Last one is the one from the power bank and that goes into the camera on the side here and that's it now let's try it on a gimbal undo the monitor take off the camera undo the mat box And here is the quick release from C-Star. And there is the gimbal attached, balanced. And if you want the monitor on the gimbal, take this out, twist it around. And fasten it. So let's say that you want to put it on a shoulder rig because you're going to do a long sequence where you have to hold the camera steady and don't want to be on a gimbal because it doesn't give the look that you want and handheld will make it really tough. Uh, so for shoulder rig, let's try that. So I have this one bought on Amazon with a camera plate on it. Detach the camera and slide it on here. And then fasten it. We can now put the arms down. There you have it, you have the monitor up here and you can bring the monitor up in front here if that's wanted then you'll have the monitor in front of you. So this is my video rig, now let's disassemble it and put it together bit by bit. So there you have it, that is my Sony A7S III video rig setup. It's for handheld, it's for shoulder rig, it's for tripods, it's for sliders and for gimbals. So I hope you found this a little bit helpful, if not a little bit entertaining. And I'll see you in the next video.